I started getting serious about music and guitar, ear training exercises were the most difficult for me. And I'm not alone. For many of us who play guitar, ear training exercises are extremely hard because we play an instrument where we don't have to intonate while we play. We don't have to listen closely to the quality of the sound of a note to really ensure that it's exactly where that note needs to be against a root. We don't have to listen in that way when we play because we have frets. We're missing out on just this little ingredient that allows one to hear the quality of a note by ear from music and therefore identify what melodies are just by hearing them. Well, I tried all the ear training exercises you can think of, and there is one in particular that just changed the game for me once I got into working on it. And that exercise is singing through the modes of the major scale over a single note drone that is the root. Why did this work better than other ear training exercises for me? Well, I had to sing each note above the root and make sure I it sounded right to me and therefore I'm identifying it and, and forcing myself to make the sound and hear the sound at the same time, just like I just talked about, but also being able to sing all of the modes of the major scale over a drone, which is alone a cool theory exercise, but singing all of those modes we end up singing and hearing and therefore being able to identify all of the chromatic notes that exist above a root. You end up singing and hearing what the root sounds like, of course, but also the flat two in like the Phrygian mode, for example, or the natural two in many of the modes, the flat three, the three, the four, the sharp four, the five, the sharp five, or the flat six, the six, the flat seven, the seven, all of them all of the notes in various modes, many of them multiple times in different contexts, you hear, oh, that's what two sounds like. That's what nine sounds like over a root. Oh, that's what flat six sounds like and feels like over a drone. And this is a bit of a weak spot for me. I'm not a comfortable singer. I'm not a trained singer. And I happen to have a cold today too. Uh, but I wanna show you this anyway, because it's made such an impact for me and I'm not perfect at it. I still am gonna be off you know, my intonation sometimes on some notes, but I really work on it still, and I still notice it getting better and better all the time and helping my ears. If you don't know any of the mode structures, check out my modes explained video. I'll put a link to that in the description. But also, if you don't know them well, this exercise will really ingrain them. You will know the modes really well and all the sounds of them and all the individual intervals like we're talking about for your ears. So take a string that you can sing the lowest note and also an octave above and just drone on that string or make a drone for yourself in any other way. And we're gonna start with the Lydian scale. And then we can change modes by moving one note down a half step to get to the next mode each time when we start with the Lydian scale. So the Lydian scale is one, two, three, sharp four, five, six, seven, one. Okay, so it has a sharp four. Then if we move the sharp four down to natural four, we get the normal major scale. Okay, then we're just gonna move one note down like that each time to go through all of the modes. Okay, so, so find some way to sing it. I'll sing it anyway at all, sometimes solfege, sometimes numbers, sometimes just la, ah, da, whatever. Um, and a lot of times I sing with this kind of, kind of very light, can sing quietly, kind of with a, a kind of a buzzing sound because it helps my breath be regulated um, a little more and keeps me relaxed in my throat. So let's start with the Lydian scale. And I'm gonna go explore this. The whole exercise is amazing if you can go up and down each scale, but if you're, if you're confused about what you're singing. Test it out as you go. harder to sing the numbers than with the buzzing. So I'm kind of showing you that I know where I am and just also testing my intonation. So you can do that. Five, sharp four, five, sharp four, five. So I'm showing you all that just to say, ex be messy, explore around, get it down, and try to just get to the point where you can go up and down. Okay. 
okay, move sharp four down to natural four. This is the major scale. This is Ionian mode, just the normal major scale. You might want to check the intonation on the new note each time. It's a good way to do it. Okay, that's the major scale. Now take the seven and flat it and you get the mixolydian scale. Maybe I'll try a different way of singing it. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, te, do, do, te. Flat seven. Te, la, so, 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 fa, mi, re, do. I tend to sing pretty, pretty light. Uh, not kind of projecting very much. After mixolydian, lower the three to flat three and you get Dorian. Do, re, me, fa, so, la, te, do, do, te, la, so, fa, me, re, do. Okay, after Dorian, then lower the six to flat six and you get Aeolian, which is the natural minor scale, just what people just call the minor scale often. Do, re, me, fa, so, le, so, Okay, after Aeolian, after the natural minor scale, then lower the two to be flat two and you get the Phrygian mode. Do, ra, do, ra, me, fa, so, so, le, te, do, do, te, le, so. That's Phrygian. The last one, the hardest one after Phrygian, lower the five to flat five and you get Locrian. This is the seventh mode of the major scale. Do, ra, me, fa, se, fa, se, le, te, do, do, te, le, se, fa, me, ra, do. That one's the hardest because the flat five, the five is usually a very stable note we can kind of get to and rely on in the middle. And it's very unstable to sing the flat five. So we have to rely on the four instead, but really just trying over and over and over again and trying to hear it, we get our own sense of what feels stable and what feels unstable and how it's supposed to sound. Trying to do this when I first thought of it and first thought of uh, how to start to hear these individual notes and work through the modes like this, I literally couldn't do it at all. Like it just seemed impossible. So just little by little starting to hear, is that the three? Am I singing the three? Am I singing the two? And since then just reinforcing it, you know, I got to the point where I feel comfortable enough to, to do a video about it, but I'm just gonna keep working on this in, in many different ways, singing scale patterns with it, being able to jump to certain notes so you can make sure you're hearing in your mind and getting to it, just working on intonating more. Um, I just think it's a game changing exercise for the ears. So if you need to kind of start from scratch on this, then what I would do is play through the modes on the guitar first. And a great way to do this is to play through the modes on one string and play the root in between. So if you play the Lydian scale, and then back down, right? And not even, not so much for listening for it, but just for mapping it out with the structure and moving around and hearing the root in between as well. And then you'd go to major, and then you'd go to mix, uh, mix Lydian. And if you need to study the modes and understand them in that way, in that structure and in that order, then check out my modes explained video. And if you want to work on this, then figure that out first. Make sure you know the modes really well, you know the structure of them, then start singing them in that very exploratory way, one by one, note by note, checking your intonation in between, holding the drone, singing it just very slow and try to work up towards, can I sing up and down each mode? next mode, next mode, next mode, next mode. That's kind of the challenge you want to work towards. So we're talking about modes. We're talking about scales. Modes come from what often are called parent scales. So like the major scale that is what we think of as the primary scale that all the modes come from. And there are several parent scales. And then each of those parent scales have modes that come off of them, like melodic minor, harmonic minor, other types of scales. So I recently created a PDF download called the printable parent scales PDF. And you can download what I think are the 
the seven most important parent scales to learn that really most other scales or modes that you hear about come from these scales and so there's each of the seven scales and laid out in five different positions or scale shapes on the fretboard and it's very useful little handout if you want to work on your scales and mapping things out on the guitar you can get that totally for free there's a link in the top of the description or you can go to soundguitarlessons.com scales if you're intrigued about modes i just did a video recently about the modes of the melodic minor scale what each of them are and what chords they're usually played over so that's a really cool video if you want to learn more about modes i recommend watching that next there will be a link in the description or if you're watching on youtube there will be a link that pops up on the screen here you can just click Click that i hope you enjoyed this lesson and if ear training is something you need i hope this exercise helps you out a lot over the next several years it does take time but it will make a difference i post a new lesson video every week i hope to see you in the next one thanks for watching take care and happy ear training happy singing happy practicing